happy two years old. The Epson 2750 has made it to the two year mark. We still have ink left in the tank. The primary mission has been accomplished. Let's talk about where we're at now. Let's start with going over my usage. So my particular usage over two years, um, I, I've used exactly uh, 1,000, I printed exactly 1,329 pages. Um, you know, that comes out to less than 100 pages a month. The printer would easily support for two years, almost double from what I use. It's going to depend on what you're printing, but I think you could easily get 2,000 pages, black and white, color, some photos in there. When we look at the usage chart over time, you can see that the first year, it's, uh, I, I don't really burn too much ink. Um, it's really not until we get into the sec, the, like about 18 months of use that I start going through more ink. And the only reason why I'm going through more ink is because I have to clean it more often. It's very important with this printer that you use it frequently. The ink has to always be moving through the through the printer, through the print heads. Go through all these hoses, from the ink tanks, through the hoses, and spraying through the print head. If that action is not happening at some periodic rate, then you can get air in the lines or some areas might dry up and harden. Last summer I didn't do much printing. I was on vacation for a couple of weeks, came back, I really wasn't using the printer, so it might have went about 21 days or so. I didn't really think anything of it, but I feel like from that point forward, I started having some printing problems. If you just make sure you just do regular print jobs, that'll keep this thing nice and clean and steady. So you do want to be burning through that ink supply. The next part of it is, is at some point you're gonna to have to perform a power cleaning. And I probably should have done a power cleaning earlier on. The problem with the power cleaning is it uses a lot of ink. Um, so you could see here, I've, I've done a time lapse of the power uh, cleaning and you could watch from the start to the finish on how much ink is being used. It did vary a bit depending on the tank, as you see, but either way, it was a noticeable difference. So doing this more than uh, a couple of times would totally burn through your ink, and it may not always solve your problem. Make sure you're, you're exercising not just the black and white, but all the color tanks, and that should be steadily decreasing at least at the rate you see on my graph. What problems have I had with the printer? So this maintenance issue took me a little bit to figure out. You can see on my 18 month video, I, I, I stated I had problems. I did do an overnight cleaning on that and it, and it did work. But then I had another issue when I came printing a high resolution photo and all of a sudden I got, a smear, I got this weird smear mark on the second uh, photo I was printing and from that point on nothing was right and I happened to be recording this because I was preparing for this video I really wasn't quite sure what happened so I did a nozzle check and it was clear that two of the colors were not working so I did a head clean a couple of times that didn't really do anything so then I powered it down and started it back up a day later which worked the last time but this time it did not so this time I actually did perform the power cleaning and it really did make a difference. It fixed everything. What caused that smear was I actually used a different type of paper. Um, I was printing on matte and then I wanted to print the photo on glossy. And the paper I had might have been old, but I've heard others complain that some glossy paper, even though it was an Epson gloss, it might cause a problem like this where it smears and then clogs your print heads. The only way for me to fix it was cleaning, doing a power cleaning, which uses a lot of ink. I want to give a little warning to what paper you're pushing through this printer. Make sure it's compatible with the printer, and uh, because apparently it might cause this issue. It looks fixable, but it's going to be at the cost of ink. I am not going to let these tanks go less than one third. Uh, once they hit the one third mark, I am going to refill them because. The worst thing you can do is let this thing empty. If for some reason one of these tanks hits the bottom, it will suck air into the system, and I don't know, it'll be a nightmare to get it out. You always want to make sure you have plenty of ink in the tank, that's why there's a whole bunch of reminders about it, but it really is critical. 
I'm very happy I got through the two years of consumables as it promised. I think this was a decent investment. I hope the printer continues to work. If I have any problem with the printer, I will be sure to report it here. If this video was a help, be sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to be notified when I do post of updates, to, updates to this printer. And I do a lot of other types of videos, a lot of video reviews on other products. So be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching.